Hi everybody and welcome to my um, fabric haul video. So, um, as you can see uh, in the playlist below, I went on an epic trip into Europe and around and while I was gone, I picked up fabric. A lot of fabric from five different countries and so today I just basically want to show the fabrics and how pretty they all are what country they came from and I will be putting a link below to my Yoni Care products so these are gonna be exclusive fabrics for my Yoni Care product line and this is going to be um, until the fabric runs out. So, I gave myself a limit. Not a budget, but a limit. And I wanted a variety, so I decided that I would do three different prints <clears throat> in each country that I could get into and get fabrics. And, um only two yards of each uh, print and we went to like we went on our trip we went to Germany but everything was closed in Germany there was no getting fabric in Germany so there's nothing from Germany here so the next country that we went to was Amsterdam and the Netherlands and these are the pretty fabrics I got from there So I kind of wanted something as um, local as I could get of a feel. Some places had some local stuff and some places did not or they didn't understand what I was trying to find. And then I wanted something kind of fun and playful and then I wanted something geometric. Um, those were just the guidelines that I had in my head so that I didn't spend hours in the fabric store and we could continue on with our adventures. So, <clears throat> the first Amsterdam fabric, let's see if I can just hold this up. So the first fabric I got was this fun print and um, I thought when I got it that it had unicorns on it. But later, when I actually sat down and looked at it, what I discovered was that they're not unicorns, they're Norwal. But I mean, how super cute and fun is that print? Yeah, and that's the up. Birds, kittens, I think they're foxes. Super cute exclamating clouds. I just thought this was so fun and it just caught my eye and I went for it. So that's kind of how all of these came about. So Drew actually helped pick out um, a couple of the fabrics as well. This is my geometric print from there. And I guess I could say what's on the uh, side. So this is Circus Diamond designed by Fiona Hewitt. And then this, oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful that print is. It's just like a swirly galaxy of stuff. Let's see, I don't even know if there's anything on this one. Oh, it says Sarah Fabrics, Polytex, Stofen. Some of the words I'm not gonna be able to pronounce. All right, so that was Amsterdam. <clears throat> and then the next country that we went to was Bruges, Belgium, city of Bruges, country of Belgium. Um, and what I discovered was the fabric store I had picked out beforehand was all tatting because words are you know and translation is um, funny so when it was translating it was giving me fabric but 
what was really in the shops was tatting and um, and can not canvas um, like woven heavy fabrics like rugs almost so I had given up all hope of finding fabric because two of the shops I had asked can I get fabric by the yard and they either weren't willing to share somebody else's shop or whatever reason so um, as we were just walking around I randomly saw a twist of skeins a colored thread because every other shop had only had tatting or white and I'm like oh this is colorful let me go in here the lady had a section that was maybe three shelves that was maybe three or four feet wide of yardage of fabric so not a lot of selection however I found some pretty stuff it, it again is always hard because in there was probably 75 or 100 prints um, but this is what I picked up there and what I keep waving around is they gave me a free measuring tape so this one fell in love with I mean those mushrooms are just amazing they didn't have any Belgian waffles I couldn't find anything like Belgium so I kind of wanted something food ish so that's where I got the mushrooms from and then look at these cute dragons how cute are they again it was whatever caught my eye let's see does this one have anything on it it says Dragon Heart, Dragons, Ma Mako Ware UK. <clears throat> All right. And then look at that pretty geometric. It was just so cute, right? Love it. I love all of them. That's the hard part is you fall in love with it and then you're like, I don't want to cut it. I don't want to use it. But I'm really going to cut it all up and use it. Because the first thing I'm going to do is make a yoni pad for myself out of each one of these prints because that's what I want. Okay. Then we went to France. The first port we went to was Le Havre. And I found fabric in the Havre. The second port we went to in France, um, it was like a holiday kind of a city and like everything was closed except for you could get waffles, you could get beer, um, and baguettes and stuff like that. So um, no fabric stores were open. So Le Havre was it. Luckily there was fabric there before we went to the second port. <clears throat> okay, so um, this is kind of the sort of the prints that they use on their um, traditional clothes is the small little flowered prints. So they love that on their traditional clothes. Um, so I got a little small floral. There's actually butterfly in there. And then look at this geometric. It is crazy and I love it and colorful and fun. Beautiful. And then I was trying to find something that had like, it was France, so the Eiffel Tower. No Eiffel Tower. But what I did find was this cute little cafe sort of print. Super cute. So that works. I like the monochrome with just a pop of blue and a pop of red. Okay, then we went to Bilbao, Spain, which was an amazing place. And we discovered because Google Translate wasn't really translating half the stuff that we were wanting it to translate for us, menus and whatnot, until we discovered that the language in that part of Spain is not Spanish, it's Basque. 
So when I went to the fabric store, I wanted something local print and the lady pointed me to this fabric. This fabric says hello in Basque, which is pronounced Zaishao. Kaishao, Kaishao. Kaishao. It says hello. So that is super cute, fun, love it. <clears throat> This geometric is the one that Drew picked out. He liked the fact that each one of the little triangles was a different print. So each one of these are gonna be like totally different. And then I got some really pretty purple and pink paisley. I, I just love it, I just love them all. All right, so then we went to London and spent four days in London, and I discovered, looking for fabric stores beforehand, a fabric row. It was like a whole road that was maybe two blocks of fabric store after fabric store after fabric store after fabric store. This one had silks, that one had, that one had, that one had and it was like every shop had uh, different stuff and we spent I uh, probably an hour going in and out of these shops so I actually bought from three different shops I decided to spread my money around and um, got fabric from three different shops so the first print that I got is this beautiful pink very um, and it felt kind of royal to me like this is something that you know Princess Diana would have used if she would have had wash and reuse feminine care products and then I got this fun little like kind of I don't know dutchy sort of looking print with the little fun shoes and the hat and stuff and the hearts so nice and fun and whimsical anything on this wise oh no there is it says Dutch blue Europe this, one say? this one says the finest cotton collection so there you go all right and then I wanted something with the black but the, nobody had it one shop we were walking by and I was about ready to give up and Drew saw I don't even know how he saw it, but in the shop, on a roll, he's like, over there. And so we went into the shop and they had this print, which is um, one of those that has kind of like everything in it. Uh, 1914 to 1918, uh, something, there's England, there's mounted rifles, a sort of kind of military-ish, but it had the flag, but it was the only thing I found that had, you know, the flag. Well, that's what I wanted. So it's a little military, but it's still going to be fun. Um, I did like the light green. It had two different background colors. There was a blue and this green. I liked the green better. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. So yeah, that was... Um, a fun thing to do on the trip was to go around scavenging, scavenging, scavenger hunting for fabrics and um, getting something that was uniquely just bought over there. So these I brought back from London, you know, so it's kind of, I just love it. They're all so beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed. Click the link below if you're interested and check out my product. Um, hopefully by the time you click on the link, I will have the colors as a selection. I'm gonna just snap a picture and put up a square I'm, because I haven't gotten any made at the moment. So we're gonna go ahead and get them up and ready to go. And hopefully by the time you see the video, it's there. Thank you for stopping by. This is Colorful Threads and I am Juliet. Have a wonderful day.